Hey everybody, it's Todd Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well this morning. So, we're on the route to a potential severe weather outbreak here. It's the final update I'm going to be dropping ahead of time here. Time's a little bit short, so this video is going to be pretty short. But we have a pretty stout storm system on the way here with the potential for all hazards possible. So, make sure you hit that like button and have that notification bell on because we will be going live later to cover this here. So, looking at the threat for this afternoon and into the evening here, not much has changed since the last update here. We still have the enhanced risk in the effect, at least as far as the wide scale of things is concerned. They have pushed this area a little further back towards east central Oklahoma now. Which I do find a little bit interesting because I've been talking about that area since I first saw this storm system nearly two weeks ago being a point of interest. It's mainly going to be towards that Red River Valley where we're going to be expecting a lot of action here. And this looks like it continues to be the case here. So, of course, I'm keeping an eye on this little sector over here towards Missouri and Illinois as well. I think that could be another hot spot. And I honestly wouldn't rule out the chance of maybe seeing a further expansion of this enhanced risk as well albeit the hazard types have changed just slightly in regards to threat levels wind threat has actually dropped and the hail threat has remained the same the hatch risk still exists with this as well but whereas we had a 30 percent threat for wind for now it's dropped off to 15 but that's been replaced with a 10 percent tornado threat not a hatch risk at the moment but it wouldn't surprise me if this changes. Like I said, I think this environment is really ripe when it comes to the setup for tornadoes here. It's almost primed, if you will. So we definitely need to be watching this region here. We will be watching this region later this afternoon and getting into the evening here. I do think peak time is going to be right around sunset, just like yesterday. Hopefully you caught yesterday's stream as well, because we actually saw twin tornadoes at one point. So. A lot of craziness happened yesterday and we could see the same thing this evening here so we're taking a look at a couple different levels of the atmosphere we already are seeing that that low level jet is staying pretty consistent there's been a lot of continuity with that but looking at the mid levels we we'll actually get to see the catalyst of this storm setup here as we go forward we actually will see two short waves occur here this one will be in the early part of the afternoon we're going to see a good bit of activity early over here towards Illinois and Indiana and this will actually end up increasing as we go through the day the main event really starts around 22 Z where we see this first short wave initiate here towards Missouri and this is where we will get some really impressive hail out of this I do think tornadoes are possible here as well but as we go forward this another short wave pops up over here towards this sector towards southeast Oklahoma and central parts of Arkansas and this is going to be a key component to those much more vigorous supercells, some discrete as well, which will have all hazards possible, and even some uh, mine segments out towards Texas as well. So very widespread event that we're going to be dealing with here. And like I said, all hazards seem to be possible. And whereas before we saw the downgrade of that 30% to a 15% for the wind threat, there is a chance that we could see a reinstatement of that as well. Along with these wind environment being very impressive, this setup thermodynamically, if we look at the moisture return, it's really impressive. You can see those widespread 60 and even 70 degree dew points coming into play. What catches my attention the most as I'm getting into the twilight hours here, heading into sunset, is the fact that we're seeing moisture being pulled in towards where these storms are going to be fired firing so like i said i'm really concerned about this region over here in particular in regards to the tornado threat here right around peak time we have dew points that are in the mid 60s closing in on 70 at some spots that combined with the surface temperatures making their way all the way up to the 80s here could spell some trouble possibly as we go into the evening here so very unstable environment looks to be in place here we go ahead and take a look at instability not much has really changed we've been seeing major uptrends with this ever since we've been in range of the convective models for a while here and look at how much instability there is available we're getting into those 3,000 joules per kilogram range plus now so 
Yesterday, we were just barely hitting that. Now, we could even see some areas getting into 4,000 along that particular point of interest. And over towards Dallas, we are hitting it. So, like I said, I think everything's on the table here. And the table could be set for a severe weather outbreak here. I'll go ahead and take a quick look at the significant tornado parameter really quickly. And watch what happens as we get later into the evening here. You can already see those numbers starting to spike, but it really picks up by the time we get towards 01 and 02Z. The area kind of keeps shifting a little bit, but the point of interest now might be over here towards southern Arkansas too, interestingly enough. But I do think that there are some areas over here that also have high potential as well. So a lot to look out for. And then of course we can't disinclude Missouri, like over towards the Arkansas-Missouri line, there's some pretty high values here. This is 6.2. I think this is actually the highest that I've seen so far. And just based on that uh, low level um, hodiograph here, it looks really impressive towards this region. So definitely need to be on an extra close watch across anywhere where there's severe weather expected this evening. Even over here towards Indiana, Ohio, we will have thunderstorms towards this region. If anything can take advantage of this, there could be some stronger tornadoes over here as well. A little less likely, though, in my opinion. But let's go ahead and take a la look, last but not least, at what our simulated radar could be at this current time. You can see that we already get storm initiation by noon, really, at this point. And as we continue to go forward, this only intensifies as we get towards the back half of the afternoon here. It's mid-afternoon, we're starting to see some stronger storms over towards Illinois, and then here is our main event starting to pop off here at 22Z, which would be about 5 o'clock, which is rush hour for my area. So a lot of these storms will be starting to occur around rush hour. We're starting to see some discrete activity towards Texas, and eventually this line begins to develop over here towards Arkansas, and towards southern Arkansas that becomes a point of interest as we get towards 02 to 03z which would be just after sunset maybe even pushing towards the late evening to overnight hours here so a lot to keep track of here definitely make sure you're staying weather aware again make sure you hit that like button have that bell on because we will be live later this afternoon you guys take care though i will see you soon it's been tired metalhead weatherman you guys have an awesome rest of your day